How are we doing, folks? Uh, Rochestown, I suppose like a lot of Ireland today, is a somber place. A country that has always prided itself, I suppose, on protecting even the very most vulnerable of property developers is now under a very real threat from the Marxist pilferers themselves, the darling party of the great unscrubbed Sinn Féin by. Now, I'm just out of what was a very emotional crisis breakfast in the Maryborough Park Hotel with Simon Coveney and Micheál Martin. Obviously, you wouldn't put those two together normally, but I actually bashed their heads together this morning at breakfast, reminding them, you know, that, guys, you're two cheeks of the same arse, and you best clench that arse very tight, very quick, or else you're going to let the shit in, referring to uh, Sinn Féin getting into the doll. But actually, on reflection there now, that analogy would have worked better with the shit coming out the cheeks. Simo hit the deck in the middle of the breakfast room in the Mary Burr, crying like a little girl. He said, it's all Charlie's fault if it wasn't for the Black and Tans commemoration. This had never happened. I said, Simo, on your feet, you ninny. I said, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn if we're commemorating the Gestapo, as long as I can continue paying little or no tax on my property empire in Hearty's Key. I said, take a look at me hall. I said, their campaign has been every bit the laughing stock that yours has. Do you see him crying? Do you see him backing down? <laughs> no, no, he's doubling down. He's even more bullish. I said, buddy, modern Irish politics was founded by arrogant, bullish, no feedback here, please, men, like Hall Martin, and so may it continue. But I actually couldn't finish what I was saying, because at this point, Hall was up on the table shouting, Sinn Féin, something, 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 the IRA. I said, Jesus Christ, Hall, will you give that old racket a rest for two minutes, buddy? I said, it's that brainless mantra that has us in the mess we're in. I said, guys, focus the minds. Shinners must not be winners. Do you want to see balaclavas on the staff of the Maryborough Park Hotel? They're like, no. I'm like, do you want to see Celtic tracksuits in the Cork Chambers of Commerce? They're like, no! I'm like, do you want to see a more fair and just Ireland that prioritises the marginalised and the working man as opposed to the banker, the landlord and his cronies? They're like, Jesus Christ, no way! They're wailing! I'm like, well guys, then what's the plan? I've worked bloody hard for the businesses my father gave me and I'm not going to give them up to the fobblocked without a bloody fight, baby. So what we've contrived to do, guys, is straight out of the maestro's playbook, Charlie Flanagan, a little bit of self-flanaganation, I call it. In this, the year of the centenary of the Black and Tans burning of Cork, we hereby threaten the city. If you vote Sinn Féin into power this weekend, myself, Simo and Hall are going to give you that Black and Tans commemoration after all. But it's going to be more of a reenactment because we're going to burn the bloody city down again. Oh yeah, put that in your news report, Pascal Sheehy. Now, we obviously haven't a fig's bollocks of what we're doing, so I return to the well again to dirty old Passage Town, the nemesis, for help. If you're in Passage, you're doing nothing, you're pissing about, you're watching Judge Judy, and you have a working knowledge of arson, why not give me a bell? Send me on your CV, yada yada. If you don't know how to use the internet, just get on to your parole officer and tell him, give me a shout. Okay, baby, be good, vote FFFG. 